time around. In multiple declines. Maybe he doesn't trust Icy Cup Deconstruct as it was actually fixed. <laughs> did you have to download it just now? I did. don't remember. <laughs> I actually was not paying attention. Because normally you have to download the republished map if there were changes. Hmm. I don't know. We're gambling here on Icy Cup Deconstructed. Select doesn't want to waste his time, evidently, <laughs> and see if there are drones or not. But uh, that first game, Tarsonis Assault, map both uh, teams should be highly familiar with, still on the Blizzard ladder map pool. Icy Cup Deconstructed is a map that Select and Optic Zero have already shown that they dislike because the spawn points are equally uh, distant from your ally as they are from one of your enemies. So it can be very hard to do that joint defense in the early game. Protoss is a bit weak against that Zergling Hellion rush in, in the early game. So uh, Katz and Druby may be trying to do that. That was a, a double cheese we just saw in Tarsonis Assault, actually an all-in cheese from Select and Optic Zero. And it showed when just a handful of Marines and Zerglings killed Optic Zero basically out of the game. So here we go into game two now. The countdown has begun and Icy Cup deconstructed. I'm very curious to see if any drones will appear that are unwanted. <laughs> and we'll find out. It's going to be momentary here. And the gas situation should be fixed, though. That's the reason that there was there was this in the beginning. And indeed, no drones! No drones! Everyone's good to go. So here at the 3 o'clock position on Deconstructed, we have our Yellow Zerg player from uh, Team Assassins. That is Complexity's Cats. His teammate down here at the 6 o'clock position, also from Complexity, is Druby, spawning as our blue Terran player. Their opposition from Sup Suns, down 1-0 in this best of seven finals, is Dignitas Select, spawning as our red Terran player. His teammate from FXO is Optic Zero, spawning as our pink Protoss player. And I really like the approach that Optic Zero and Select had last time, just outright cheese and try and catch your opponent off guard when Katz and Druby find their stride at like five and a half minutes into the game whenever they do um, just ridiculous early game tier one aggression so I'm really curious to see what select and optic zero do here they're walling in their bases for now but I don't know I would still like to see some cheese of course, I always enjoy seeing cheese, especially in 2v2 where it's actually very potent. Optic Zero is a building a gas for select. That's not a gas steal. If you thought that, then you are wrong. <laughs> it's uh, it's actually a way to share resources before the resource sharing timer is up. You can just donate uh, an assimilator to your teammate and they can begin mining gas from it uh, very easily, harvesting gas, no problems. So Druby setting up that barracks there at the top of his ramp. Katz has nothing in production right now, still saving up minerals, uh, perhaps going for a 15 hatch, it looks like. This would be a decent map to do it. And he can fortify that front with spine crawlers and such uh, shortly after the hatchery gets finished. Spawning pool most likely going to come as soon as uh, actually possible for him. And right away we see Optic Zero doing his uh, Forge Fast Expand, which we actually saw. Oh wait, he has a pro back here though. And if he see if he believes the opportunity is right, he may decide to go ahead and drop down. Ah, Cat's already responding with a couple of drones, though, so no sort of cannon rush is going to be possible. But um, you know, Optic Zero tried to do this in one game. I forget who they were playing when he first tried this. When we first saw him do a Forge Fast Expand, and he ended up doing it like six games in a row after that. I want to say it was MYM. Yeah, it's very possible. In fact, I think you're right. He was down here at the 6 o'clock position, then we are like, wow, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's going to lose to <laughs> so much earlier flesh. Oh, my God. <laughs> then he got up Phoenixes and just destroyed. And, oh, there we go. There is indeed going to be a cannon rush. And Kat sees it with plenty of time. So. Um, there's actually not a lot of space to build cannons there. Do you no, see that? There's, I don't think there's... There's not even terrain except for that one cannon. Derby's LOLing. Oh, because he thought there wasn't space to build even a single cannon, but there is. There was a photon cannon. Oh, he could be uh -oh. LOLing for that any could be the LOL. Oh, yeah, that could be an LOL as well. That yeah, that's similar to a cannon rush. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, in base proxy hatch, I like it. Hit Yo, v. dog. Heard hit, you like bases. Hit the V key while we've got Optic Zero select. Oh yeah, yeah true story. Quick quick vision update there. Yeah, uh, there he has go. no idea that this hatchery is there, and Katz does have an Overlord. Just checking things out. There's nothing in the base. There's not even a pylon in that base. No gateways, definitely. Only one photon cannon is down at the bottom of the ramp, so this proxy hatch with a Roach Warren coming up now as well. Roaches inside your base can be definitely hard to hold off if you don't even have gateway units or cannons. <laughs> that is true, as a matter of fact. And it looks like, oh, oh it was seen. It. There we go. Darn so. Reaper from 
helped Ruby gave it away, I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just blame Ruby. It's a good... Oh, look at that. And he actually has vision of the high ground, too, which is gorgeous. So this this Reaper is actually going to be able to hold off against these units for quite a while. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, the blue Terran this time is, is Ruby. Yeah, Select so doesn't keep, have anything. Keep switching on us. So them. there we go. There's a couple of photon cannons coming up. Select has no real units to help defend against this. The Roach Warren is finished, and Roaches are already being produced there. Inside of Optic Zero's base, the cannons, however, uh, D8 charges actually do pretty good there, taking oh, yeah. off one little bar of health each time. All he has to do is dodge these probes long enough. And one more shot from the Reaper, obviously, has the luxury of being able to hop up on either side of that hatchery as well. And the Roaches and Reaper combo might be able to... I don't know. He's going to have to run away now that those Marines are there. First Roach comes out. He's, of course, just going to circumvent the cannon completely, run off to the right side. There are only two Marines there, so Roach might be able to stand up against that. If the Reaper gets involved once again, Druby's going to have to be careful with that Reaper. This is so tricky because you have to coordinate all of your movements with these early units with your teammate. It looks like the Reaper did go down, and oh, these Roaches are getting picked apart. A Queen actually is made at that hatch, and he's still in range. Oh, no, of the cannon. The cannon does pick off the Queen, and this proxy hatch is going to fall unceremoniously. Aww. They didn't even get any real solid kills. Only a couple of marine kills there for all of this effort. Uh, actually, a couple of probes that go down to, to that Reaper, I believe. So, uh, not a total loss, just yeah. kind of a, a strange unfolding of events yet again here in this Grand Finals for PTSL. Yeah, Select is actually down to just 10 supply. Does Cats have enough to put up a bunch of roaches off of his larvae? No, no, he does not. So, uh, with this roach, he may be able to kill, kill the cannon. cannon. No, he's not Come going on, to do cats. so. He could have spammed a bunch of lings with all that larvae, too. Oh, and it looks... He's making three roaches out of them. Optic Zero <laughs> actually canceled his expansion in order to go ahead and put up... More the cannons. cannons, and now he's long range mining because he can't actually attack into these two roaches. <laughs> At the same time, oh, we actually Vikings. had Select move out with some Vikings. Druby coming back with a bunch of Marauders, so and it looks like he is actually in a pretty good position. 82 supply now for uh, Team Assassins to just 53 for Sup Sons. This is kind of strange. Once Druby shows up with his units, actually, he appears to just be going over to Cat's base, might be trying to clear out those cannons finally. No, it's, he's now coming up the map. So this is just kind of weird. We have landed Vikings against Roaches at eight minutes into this game of 2v2. Uh, another probe goes down. Cat's doing a good job just picking and choosing his targets. He select actually picking up those two Vikings in the red. Excellent micro there, yeah, keeping those nice. guys alive. Uh, only a handful of probes even left alive for Optic Zero, so all of this has taken its toll. In fact, on Optic Zero's state of mind, if nothing else, these roaches just being a constant hassle here. Select being forced to come in and ride in with his Vikings and Marines to help save the day. But Druby's arriving now with a substantial force. Optic Zero has 11 supply to his name. They're going to power right through those cannons. Those stimmable marauders are quite beefy. They're going to stand up very good against those Marines and Land Vikings as well. They're just going to pick up the forge, so no more cannons can be built, and suddenly Optic Zero looks uh, not so hot here. Nope, he's going to try and rally in as many probes as he possibly can, and Select just really doesn't have enough to deal with this whatsoever. So Optic Zero is probably going to have to pull back to these photon cannons just, well, nope, he can't wait out the storm because die. his Nexus is going to go down, so he's bringing in his probes. He did wait for the stim to go Nexus. down. Oh, it's down to six points of health and it dies. Nice pickup there for Assassins. Optic Zero left with 12 SCVs. They do have 400 minerals between them, though, so they can go ahead and drop that replacement Nexus. But, of course, you have to realize Katz and Druby haven't taken really any losses this game uh, back at home. Uh, they did clear out that cannon rush from Optic Zero. Now Katz can expand safely. Druby's been on two bases for a while. Let's pull up just the Harvester count, because I'm curious how Select's been doing throughout all of this. He's got 34 SCVs. Select does. Druby has 30 SCVs and an expansion. Select is now about to expand himself. Uh, Banshee is already out on the field for Select, headed over to Druby's main, actually. If you click on over to that space... It's just now arriving, and it does have cloak, but Druby already prepared with a turret. Probably some marines on hand nearby. Don't actually see any. I don't know. Might don't be able to get a right, might yeah. be able to get a couple of kills in that sweet spot there. Uh, Select does snag a quick two SCV kills, three. Actually, you might even get double digits. Druby is going to respond there. There is cloak now. Will he have enough for a scan? It doesn't look like it, even though he is working on two orbital commands. He's just been too good with those mules, so no scan <laughs> is available to kill this Banshee, killing off all of his SCVs. 
And it looks like Optic Zero is just about to finish this Nexus, so he's going to try and find his way back into the Select is worried about something else, though. It wasn't microing that Banshee around, not finally stopping the construction of so many of these forces. Oh, and it looks like he's going to pull right back into the detection range of another missile turret, so not going to do as well as he would have liked. Select going to make his way over to Cat's base now, and Cat's does not have any detection of no evolution chambers, so not going to see any spore crawlers. Uh, but he does have a layer, of course, so he can put up a... Um, Overseer. Overseer pretty quickly, and he's also going to have fungal as well. So if, if he can catch where the Banshee's at, he'll be able to drop a fungal on top of that. I'm actually surprised that Cass hasn't at least made an Overseer, just because they did just see a cloaked Banshee, and Jerby could have just been like, hey, make an Overseer as well. So uh, a couple of drones are going to pay the price.